Now that players have the ability to enter their name into our game, how about allowing them to take a photo of themselves too? In the past, accessing a webcam in Windows meant having to do some native calls. When using HTML and JavaScript apps, we get access to the camera through a simple API call. The camera API is going to call into WinJS, just like we did for the view box in the app bar. We're gonna use the Windows Media Capture. There's two modes for Windows Media Capture. There's Camera Capture UI, and there's Media Capture. Media Capture will allow you to control every pixel on the screen, and Camera Capture UI will build the default camera UI that people will be used to when using Windows. We're gonna use Camera Capture UI. We also have the ability to set both photo and video through the Camera Capture UI mode. We still need to remember webcams are a capability that needs to be turned on in the app manifest file. This is so that in the Windows Store, our app will declare its intent to use the webcam. When people download our game, they'll know that webcam is a capability of the app. Good news for us is the PC webcam that you have connected will work in the simulator as well. This makes testing very easy. Let's go in and add the camera now. We'll go to default.js, and at the end of our declarations before initialize, we're going to add a new variable for the camera. We'll call this captured photo. Next, we need to add a new command to our app bar command. So we'll go into default.html. We'll scroll down to our existing app bar commands. And underneath command name, we will add command camera. Just like I showed you how easy it is to add buttons for existing commands, we'll do the same here for the camera. We'll call into the WinJS control for WinJS UI app bar command. We'll call it command camera. We'll have a label of player photo. We'll use the standard icon for camera and we'll set the section for global so it appears on the right. Lastly, we'll have a tool tip that says change player photo. We need to handle the event for the click just like our other commands. So let's go into default JS. We'll scroll down to our other app bar commands and we will add a new event handler for command camera click. The function that we're gonna call is capture photo. We'll add capture photo at the end before app on activated. Let's take a look at what capture photo does. Just like working with any device, we're gonna put this in a try catch loop. For demo purposes, I'm not handling the error at all so it just falls away down here. If you'd like to catch those errors yourself, feel free to add variables down here. I'm gonna set a new variable for the camera capture UI called dialog. We also have the ability to set the aspect ratio for the cropping tool. I'm gonna use 16 by nine. The APIs for camera are asynchronous. So what you are seeing here is a JavaScript promise. That's where the dot then comes in. So we are asynchronously going to capture a photo, and then when we get something back, if we do have a file, we're going to set the source of image player. Remember, image player is just a standard image tag in our game's UI in the top right. We will use url.createObjectURL. This is an open standard for handling file paths. This will return a temporary file path on our local disk that has stored the photo then we'll assign that image to the source. Notice if I wanted to enable video, I could simply come over to camera capture UI mode, do a dot and I have video. I can also do photo or video. We'll stick with just a photo for our game. Let's go ahead and run this. If I right click and bring up my app bar, you'll notice that the camera says, this app needs permission to use your camera. This is part of that app manifest we talked about. Let's go ahead and update that now. We scroll down to package app manifest. We're going to double click. We'll move over to capabilities. And at the bottom here, we have webcam. Let's go ahead and check that off. Click save 
And now when we run it, we'll get a new prompt that says, can balloons use your webcam? We're going to click allow. I'm going to take a picture. And I showed you how you could set the cropping tool to be 16 by 9. Notice that the ratio here always stays at 16 by 9. We'll click OK. And when I play the game, you'll notice that the image is squished. So what we need to do now to support our 16 by 9 is update the image player. One of the great things about having everything as CSS styles is we can easily change any of those elements on the screen. Let's move down. We're going to change the width from 70 pixels to 100 pixels for image player. We'll hit save. We'll take a new player photo. And notice also we have camera options. This is part of the default UI. So if I bring this up, I can change photo resolutions. We'll take a better picture here, I think 0.9 megapixel. There we go. I've also got more details down here where I can move the brightness, contrast. All of this is done through the Windows drivers themselves. I didn't have to write any of this as a developer. This is the great part about the camera capture UI. Let's take this picture. We'll get the entire thing, hit OK. And now when we play, we get the nice widescreen 16 by 9. If we right click and drag this over into a snapped mode, notice that all of the icons are aligned and look great. We can also take a photo directly within here as well. 